Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Hit it, Frank. Welcome to another episode of Broad Motherfucking Topics. I'm your host, Kim Congdon, here with my co-host. Alex Scarlato. Hi, Kimmy. Hi. We got a great episode for everyone. Another great fucking episode. It's been great episode after great episode. Like, sorry I sound like a broken record at the beginning of the show, but we can't stop having great episodes. Every, it's not my fucking every fault. Every guest, legendary. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. We don't. We're like we um, can't miss. We're like hot chicks in high school who only associate with other hot chicks, but it's funny instead. It's funny, <laughs> and you know what? You can sit at the table just by fucking pressing play. Yep, yep. Welcome to our table. You can't live sit here. That's with someone else. No, <laughs> no, ew. But um, I'm so excited to, to introduce this guest. We've known each other for a very fucking long time. Yeah. Um, she's one of the funniest women ever. You're fucking hilarious. You're a regular at the comedy store. How many podcasts do you have? Right now, just one. Okay. I finally was like, enough. You hear her voice. You know, one <laughs> podcast is reasonable for anyone. <laughs> One's know? enough. Yeah, no, it's, but, we, but no one will do that. One, Everyone refuses. two, maybe even three reasonable. Three times a lady. Tune into our podcast <laughs> next week. Three times a lady. <laughs> it's launching tomorrow. It's Jessica uh, Michelle, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Yay. you for having me. Yay. I'm so excited um, to be here. I love you guys. Thank this you. Is, um, Rat, I cannot believe how long we've known each other. What a fucking time. A long time. Yeah, it's been a while. Do you know how long? No. Yes. Eight years? Seven years? I don't know. Longer than that? Almost 11. Christ on a goddamn <laughs> Isn't that fuck disgusting? Face. My God, I can't believe we met when we were 15. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> we're really young still. We're so young and hot. That's yeah. why we wear bright outfits. <laughs> we're not trying to Cute. distract. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where am I? Who is she? What bags? Uh, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, we met a long time ago. And are you guys, you guys have met at Skank Fest. We, we're Skank coming Fest. up on our one year anniversary, actually. Oh, wow. Pretty soon, now that I think about it. We met about a year ago. Very oh my God, fun. It was about a year ago. Yeah. What a time it was. Gang fest is <laughs> such a time. It's wild. It's a time. Dude. Every what, year it's, it's a time. Control. For sure, where I go like, these are some of the best memories of my, what did I do there? I, I don't, don't have, have no any, mo- I have no memories. I it's have funny because no I know we memories. were together for a lot of it. I don't yeah. know. I remember meeting you and you being one of my skank fest people from last year that I was like, immediately we're cool with each other. Yes. That was a great, it was, you know how you vibe with people on skank a completely different camp. level? It's campy. It really yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. We it's, had our camp connection. It's an insane camp. It was camp. Yeah, you remember nothing except for that you felt really nice yeah, with yeah. some people. You're like, it was good. You're like, I think I fell in love with someone. And I think I fell in love with like yeah. 12 people. It's, <laughs> I probably fell in love with both of you at some point. Yeah. <laughs> it's acid camp. Yeah. It, it real. oh boy, it is acid camp. Oh, it yeah. is. I, oh, gee, I like boarded a flight just out of my mind. Did you? Yeah. Were you tripping? No, I, I just was, it was, I was just really happy. I was just like, hadn't slept. And was like, oh, what a delightful flight I'm on. Oh, no, you, yeah, I you did do not. Get, <laughs> I feel like you do get dopamine to last you three or four days after Skank Fest usually. No? no? no. How bad was you your exit? You go home and cry? <laughs> Dude, we had a crash and me burn. Me and Sarah, the last night went hard. Yeah, we I won't mean, even get into it fully. Sarah went hard the whole time. Sarah went hard. Sarah got a tattoo. <laughs> did she really? She oh, yeah. Sk- she Skank did, Fest tattoo? And yes. I encouraged it. I was she's like, getting, that's a great idea. She's getting it covered this week. No, she, she, she really? Get it covered at the next gang fest. She won't get it. She won't go to the risky. next gang fest until this one's gone. What was she this said tattoo? Eight one eight. She got eight one eight on her wrist, but it does. She it does look like um. It looks like oh, like a Jewish like. Oh, oh like no. it looks like a Holocaust like branding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think of that. It's oh, really no. funny. It's that's, one of the funniest things. That's hilarious. That's brutal. She got it across here. No, she, she it's got this way hair. at least. Okay. It's not like the, the same. Font. Yeah, it's very note. Like they the used, typewriter font. They used a Jewy font. Yeah. They saw her. That like, was wine was shank. Called, that's the name of the font. Jewy. <laughs> Jewy. Yeah. It's a uh, size 12 Jewy. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me, look at me. I couldn't let you go through the whole podcast. Oh, schmutz. Yeah. You got it. I got it. Oh, I didn't yeah. see it or I would have said something. Yeah, that's okay, guys. I appreciate you both. Hidden behind the microphone. Man, <laughs> yeah, do I, I fucking just, hate when someone doesn't let that. When someone doesn't tell you and you 
You've been hanging out and you, you gotta let it go. But on sometimes you're to live forever. But sometimes you're stuck in. Because you become a fucking meme. <laughs> <laughs> like the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> Just an idiot. Stupid something you said that was cancel worthy too. So they're canceling you in. Yeah. Look at this dumb bitch. <laughs> oh man, Jesus. it's the worst. It's also the worst having to tell someone sometimes. Like if it's a close friend, it's fine. But you're like, <clears throat> well, having to tell someone in front of people. Well, it depends yeah. what the thing is. Like a uh, lipstick on the teeth is way better than a booger in the nose. Yeah, oh, yeah, or a booger just yeah. Way I out it sounds like a game of Clue. I hate having to tap <laughs> somebody in the teeth and a booger in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> I hate having to show somebody that they've got um, toilet paper stuck to the bottom of their shoe. Oh god, that one's that's... rough. Mm-hmm. I've seen girls leave a toilet paper stuck in their pants, and that's How always confuses even... me. How drunk I've seen bitch. it stuck <laughs> in her pussy lips, like it went no, just like, like coming out, out the back. back, coming out the back, coming like out the sh- back. But sure, how do you close it there unless you were using it? Is what I'm saying. I'm I, think it's, I think it's some sort of not having a tampon tuck emergency situation. I'm making up a real fucking crazy Ooh, diet. I mean, we've all been there at least once, right? Yeah, but I think it's covering the toilet seat with paper and that then it sticks to your sense. thighs mm. and then you lift it okay. up. Okay, because I was like really trying to That's even grosser, MacGyver though. what it could be. I'd prefer it to be something that I used on myself and it fell out than it to be something that I used to protect myself against and other people's juices. Yeah, those germs are now lodged in your jeans. It has another yeah. woman's piss all over and it. And the reason it stuck to your thigh in the first place is because there was wetness. Wetness. Just squat, you dumb bitch. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Cover. Cover. I, you know what? I used to cover the seat. Uh, now I still will if I'm feeling lazy. Like if I'm like, this is going to be a long pee. You're exhausted. And, it, and I don't need to do a two minute wall sit. Down. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't need to do a fucking wall sit. I will fucking put the, the paper down. But putting the paper down is a young girl's game. We have no time for that it's anymore. Like you're busy. Like, and the, the paper's always like stuck. <laughs> it, also, it also is a testament to the fact that most of the bathrooms I in are I'm in are disgusting. Like it's always the paper's half out anyway. Cause I'm yeah. like, great. This comedy club is so high end. Right. Yeah. You get there and the, the paper's already trailing on the floor. Yeah. Where like, like you have to rip stuck off the part the that's seat. touched on the floor. I hate when Ugh. the toilet roll is outside of the thing and on top of it. Yeah. Just out in the elements. Gross. That's fucking disgusting. It's the worst. Gross. Just a Gross. roll of disease. I'll, when that happens, I'll <clears throat> take off the outside layer and flush oh, yeah. it. So uh, I have a question. So if you don't put toilet paper on the seat and you choose to squat instead and you this, you miss a tiny bit, you, you pee a little bit on the seat, do you then clean your own pee after knowing that the next woman's not yes. going to want to do if it? If it's my own, yes. If I do it every time. And but it seems like a lot of people it's don't. It's crazy how many people don't. You it's fucking disgusting. psychotic. Cunts. This is my question. <laughs> if you go in to pee and there's already toilet paper on the seat and you're planning to squat anyways and you don't get any of your own pee, do you clean another person's pee no. for the next person? No. Or do you let them think you're the disgusting animal that did it? I would rather there, them... You're saying if it's our, if there's a ring on the seat? If like there's the already a little paper? drop of toilet paper and you're... Are you cleaning it for the next for... Or are you just... Little drop of pee or there's paper? Pee. Oh, pee? I wipe it off ahead of time. I wipe it off ahead of time, too. Because I'm like, what if I'll do a full, thorough wipe of the pretty thorough. I get all any germs I can see or wetness. That way, in case I have a slip up. Yes, in case you slip. Because sometimes when you squat, your knees give out, especially after 25. (laughs) So you got to make sure. just go down. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, just like, bam. I feel like my answer to that question depends on the thickness of the toilet paper in the stall. If it's really thin, if there's not a lot, maybe I'm just going to have, I have to make decisions. I'll check the toilet paper in that situation. That's fair. To make sure there's enough that I could wipe it and then use some for myself. Yeah, and you make have to make a whole layer. And then I'll put it on and then I'll take it with my foot and wipe it around the toilet. I do a lot of foot wiping. A lot of foot wiping. I'm like, am I about to have, is that any more sanitary that my fucking foot that's been stomping all over the disgusting ground is near it makes me feel better of my pussy like it's just i'm adjacent i'm fine with that isn't it gross that when we go pull our pants down someone comes out of the bathroom that pussy air we're putting our pussy right on we're just airing yeah we're basically air scissoring other women you know it's a cloud of pussy oh in like bathroom oh in like I don't, I'm only going in after hot chicks now. Oh, yeah. If someone comes down, they're ugly. I'm like, I'm not going in there, you pig. Dude. I'm not sitting in your pussy cloud. It always <laughs> freaks me out in schools and like in skyscraper buildings and whatever. Like bathrooms are built like one on top of another. 
So oh. I always pictured that like if the building and like infrastructure wasn't there, that people are just stacked on top of each other, shitting downward. Amazing. I didn't think about Isn't that. that I didn't think about that either. And now I'm only going to be able to shit on the bottom floor of buildings. Do you want to be? Sh- do you want to be on the no, bottom? Wait, on the top floor. <laughs> I can't shit anymore. I can't go into buildings. <laughs> oh, no, being shat on. Just think about people shitting directly oh, because you above want you. you. No, no, I don't want to be shat on. You choose the wrong shat. Oh, I mean, the toilet's always I there, this. but it's just interesting to think they're right. To perfectly aligned. I'm just gonna live in fear of someone coming through the ceiling, full toilet, <laughs> full shit, as I'm peacefully trying to hover and then oh, oh, all over you. God, brutal, rough. Maybe it's Not a meat okay. cute. Who is she? Covered in, <laughs> covered in poop. That's how you meet your husband? <laughs> Are you the one? <laughs> you have lipstick on your teeth as I'm covered in human shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, not good god yeah that's morbid it's dark mm-hmm. yeah it's so dark fuck my face and you know what's really cute i um i was at this really nice spot that had a really beautiful view of like downtown and then like you know all the rich people in downtown they have like these huge windows in their apartment they leave them like open at night so and you can stuff. Just watch them and you can just see like all the i like watching all the different floors and then everyone uses like all the lights now so it's like lighting like this and then the other spot will be purple yeah. and then the other one will be red like someone it's like seems so like it's interesting like, and you're watching these people like a girl vacuum and two people making dinner and i'm like do people live like this because i'm like farting and like picking my yeah. butt i'm like who's just living on display constantly i wouldn't want that no because no, people would see me doing dirty things I and i'd be like oh the out. window i want pick i want to pick my wedgie during the movie oh yeah what do you mean like people are just living just like walking also, around naked when and you're are like oh a chick living by yourself you feel really like if you're on display it feels very dangerous whereas i guess if i like you know if you're with a dude it's not you don't like you might you might leave the blinds open for a little while longer because you're like there's a man you're to having protect dinner. me you're like yeah. nobody's gonna be staring at me like i'm like alone but and if i'm on the top floor i'm just gonna be naked and being like Ooh, I'm alone. And then I get murdered. Oh, yeah. It feels we- I have one window that when it gets too late at night, I'm like, uh, and it's not even on the street. Like you'd have to come down my driveway <laughs> yeah. to see because I just, just like the way my building is built. That's like, I don't have one window. I have one big window. But like, <laughs> I get creeped I out. I'm like, what if you, someone came by and just looked in? If you had one window, I imagine this, this little wooden <laughs> window that goes like this. So it's, I have one good, like big size window. It's not even floor to ceiling is what I meant. But yeah. I just start, I'll just start freaking myself out. I'm also probably a little high at that point. And I'm like, what if just someone comes by and looks in the window and I'm on the ground floor and I'm like, well, we've got bigger problems than them looking in the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm about to die probably. Uh, no, I get uh, it though. That's scary. My neighbor hates me right now. Why? Why? You remember the guy? Oh, because you, yeah, he's got to get a life, dude. Okay. I don't know what to say. I am I, know am I wrong? I, I, I'm, uh, my apartment has like a, um, a sidewalk. Yeah. And then there's like gravel instead of grass. Yeah. To the um, entrance. Great. This neighbor, I see him, every time I see him, he's so chaotic. He's got this huge dog. It's like one of those tall, really skinny almost hairless dogs like Ugh. the really greyhound like a greyhound he has a greyhound yeah, yeah. and he every time i see him he's got like 30 things in his hands he's got a starbucks water four bags Nightmare. and the greyhound's like dragging him and he's yanking it like so it's like hurting his neck he's like wow. borderline abusing this dog right Jesus. and then i start noticing like flies all over the front of the apartment and then i start noticing these huge piles of shit that in the gravel, like fucker, like feet away from the front door to the apartment. Like it's a place. Why would I don't even understand? We're positive it's the greyhound and not the man <laughs> or other <laughs> homeless man. It could be the man. But so the other day I am with my friend Tarina and oh, we're spying. yeah, and I'm at the street. I'm in my car and I see him and I go, oh, that's the guy I think who's letting the dog shit Mm -hmm. and the flies are everywhere they get in the building and then they're flying around the building yeah because it's right by the front door and you know they're they're touching the shit they're picking up shit on their feet just to fly into the building with it so i gotta even touch you it's so annoying i have to move pooper that's all flies do like come into my door going delivery they go (laughs) knock 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 and they smear their hand on the door it's too much shit they get into your apartment now you have this dog shit fly in your apartment having its babies yeah, it's too much. It's way too much. So I'm watching, and the dog shits, and it, he just starts go, to go inside. Did you and get out? I yeah, I got out of the car, and I said, "Excuse me," and he turned around. And I said, "Can you pick up your dog shit?" 
That's what I said. Yeah. Which I don't feel like it, it maybe is not the nicest way to say that, but there is really no nice way to ask you to clean up after yourself. Also, you, there are giant piles of dog shit covered everywhere. In mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, I was going to get it. I just don't have a bag. I said, okay, because I've noticed a lot of dog shit around here. And he goes, it's not my dog. It's the neighbor's dog. I go, it's crazy. It's the same size as that shit. And the neighbor's dog is really small. Yeah. And he's like, it's not my dog. And I went, okay. And I left. And when I came back, the shit was still there. That mother, you should put it in a bag and put it by his front door. I want to, but he gave me a look yesterday like he wants to murder yeah, me. Yeah, like uh, there was yeah, no. That's the shitty thing about being a woman is you're like, great, now I'm not safe if I try to retaliate. Yeah. No words even exchanged. He just gave you dirty looks on the way in with Does his fucking dog. Does he have a dog. window unit air conditioner? Yeah. Oh. You should smear it into the air conditioner and he won't know what's happening from the outside. I'm not saying you should do that. If this is if it comes back to, we're going to have to cut this out. You should just. When he's not around, go smear in there so it's just the smell of shit coming into his house. I love that. I love that, yeah. And he'll never, he'll be like, what's going on? The police are going to be like, did you do it? I'll be like, no. They'll be like, let me smell your hand. And I'm like, no. I was like, I won't. Uh -uh. (laughs) Not my hand. (laughs) I wipe my own ass. I start quoting Big Daddy. (laughs) I wipe my own ass. Uh, (laughs) it's, It's just like, that's 101 dog ownership is pick up the dog's shit. Well, it's also telling me the fact that the dog is shitting the second he's about to go inside. It's telling me that you're not walking the dog. No. You're bringing him from work and you're going straight inside and he's shitting the only opportunity he probably has. It's a huge shit. He's been, looks like he's holding it all day. I kind of feel bad for the dog. I want to call dog. You can't just have another white woman on the podcast and tell me about an abuse. (laughs) I know. I'll be outside your apartment with binoculars. Like, sir. I'm with the <laughs> in that outfit. wellness agency. <laughs> this is, look this like is a dog like, saving outfit. Hi, I'm here to rescue your animal. <laughs> you, this is absolutely the outfit of someone who's like, well, I recreationally rescue animals. Your, who your outfit looks like it's sponsored by PETA. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. I have to leave after this and, and save some birds. Uh, um, I just, just don't have an animal. It's like, All right, you guys, let's take a quick second and talk about one of our very favorite sponsors here at Broad Topics. You guys know them. You love them. It's rockauto.com, the online store with every auto part you need at the best prices. This is your one-stop shop for everything auto parts. Rockauto.com has been in business for 20 years, and they make it easy to find the parts you need at the best possible prices. No more talking to counter guys who need to order your parts, aren't really sure what you're looking for, never have quite what you need, and then after all the hassle, we'll still charge you storefront markups at rockauto.com you could easily find everything you need and whether you're a mechanic an auto shop or just working on your own car everyone has access to the same incredible pricing at rockauto.com so if you're a car guy right now go to rockauto.com and check out all the parts they have available for your car you're gonna have so much fun looking at car parts especially if you're a little bit autistic so one more time, that's rockauto.com. No promo code needed because their pricing is already that good. But when you order, just let rockauto.com know that you heard about them on Broad Topics Podcast. Rockauto.com, our favorite car park company in the whole wide world. All right, let's get back to the show. Just don't. Just I- don't. Let it die in a shelter before you rescue it and make its life worse. Don't do that. Everything that me and Alex have talked about privately together in the last three days, our last three guests have brought up on their own. That is actually so true. Mm -hmm. How amazing is that? It's so amazing. Like the only conversations we've had are like one of our big conversations is like, don't have a dog if you can't take care of it. Don't have a dog if you can't take care of it. Don't have a relationship if you can't. Not cheat. I got to tell you about this dog at Gas Digital. Did I tell you? no. Okay, so is it Paco's dog? Paco's dog. Paco now, is the cameraman. Yeah, he does digital. like behind the scenes okay. footage, a lot of that kind of stuff. He moved here from Vegas like like a year ago, two years ago maybe, and got this little tiny dog. He's a um, um, teddy bear dog. Oh. He's so cute. I liked this dog so, so much cute. that I offered Paco $1,800 for this dog. <gasps> You because, offered to buy his dog. Yeah, because it seemed like he was sort of an accessory. Like He didn't, we, he wasn't respecting the dog. He wasn't respecting the dog. Rude. And if you're listening to this, Paco, very, very Asian of you. 
Don't be a stereotype. Be a stereotype. Dude, please. I don't stab anyone. Just so people don't go, I knew it. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course she stabbed somebody. Yeah. That's and I've never spoken I'm to funny a manager. On stage, just to prove a stereotype. Right. Please. I do everything to prove people wrong. <laughs> Uh, same. So in the last year, I mean, I went from <laughs> wanting this dog to be my own dog to barely being able to look at this poor dog. The way that last week I was in the backyard smoking a joint and this dog, I watched it take a shit. Okay. I watched it turn around, mm -mm. sniff the shit. It was like a log of poop about this oh, big. No. I watched him gently pick it up into his mouth. Okay. <gasps> Walk all the way to the other side of the backyard where I think like G Mike or somebody was like, did he just eat his own shit? And he went over <laughs> to him and he was like, dude, put the shit down. Put it out. Take it out. And he down. like opened the dog's mouth a little bit. And I swear it perfectly preserved Kuma fucking. Like an owl pellet. Just hot. piece of shit back down on the ground from across the backyard from where he had pooped it originally. No. Uh. And I decided. And then I watched him go inside. And you know our sweet producer Natalie oh no did she nice make girl. out with the dog I watched it lick her ankles the rest of the fucking afternoon oh. I can't let this dog near me anymore that's disgusting Natalie's gonna put her toes in her girlfriend's mouth and be like why does your foot smell like shit <laughs> 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 that's what happens when you just inbreed dogs for cuteness they just turn into dumb yeah clumps of fur that are Ugh. eating their own shit I feel like Paco now is taking the dog to get groomed based on when I say he's too fucking filthy to to have to be inside. Which is, someone yeah. shouldn't be made. You should do it before the comment is made. I'm like, this is disgusting. And then the next day he comes in and is looking all fresh and cute and brand new. <laughs> I'm like, how come you wait for me? You <laughs> start saying it earlier away. every week. You're yeah. like, this is disgusting. Mm -hmm. That's, I just don't understand. I feel, I feel like I really felt you when you said it's like an accessory because people will get dogs and just be like, I have a dog and be the worst dog owners on earth. Well, I also see people like, I don't understand the genuine want for like people who don't have the time and already live like very chaotic lives who need a dog. Like it seems to be like the personality trait of someone who's chaotic to get a dog, to get a dog. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know why those two make sense because it's the people that are at home and they work at home and they've got one kid. That's an only child. Those people should get a dog. They should absolutely get a dog, but it's and always I, people who it's always and I, like, I say that and I have a dog and I have a chaotic life. That's nuts. That's and, nuts. And you have to do stand up and you have to walk the dog and you have to feed the dog and you have to find a place to board the dog. And some hotels don't take dogs and every time you hang out you gotta go no i gotta go home and feed the dog now you have to cut your nights early yeah for this thing it's like too much it becomes <laughs> a lot although i will say it is nice to have the out on some occasions where it's like i would love to stay oh okay i see that i have a dog right. but i guess also in those situations you could just make up that you have a dog yeah, until someone true. finds out they're like where's your dog they're never going to get that close to me yeah, if I want to yeah, be away exactly. from you. You're like, you're not coming to my home. My dog's chill, Kim, though. you should adopt a dog. I would love to foster a dog for a little bit. That's how I got my dog, is oh, that I was no. like, I'm off the road for a little while. I'll foster. And you fall in love with them, yeah. Kim. I had fostered before. and no, like, I don't think so. Home them. Bofo at the beach. I love This is Bofo. your childhood speaking. Is it Kim, Kim used to get dogs, and then her mom would give them away after a couple months. Oh, my God. God, I feel nothing for a dog. I don't, I don't know why. Puppies it's because no one was taking care of it. Just like, get this fucking dog out of our house. Yeah, no, yeah. once it hits a certain age, you're just like a pedophile for dogs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, once they turn 18, they're out of here. <laughs> Do you get it off my lawn. <laughs> yeah, Do. Ugh, I don't want to see your full grown dog. I remember my mom would make things up. She'd come home and the dog would be getting a little bigger. And she'd be like, I read that if the gums are brown and pink, they'll attack. No. <laughs> she'd, be like, we have to give it. she'd be like we have to give it away I only want dogs picture... that will urinate all over the house oh, that's what that is I, know. I could hear your mom saying that so directly that's yeah. so that's fucked funny up. Okay. So and fucked. we'd be like but we love Roxy <laughs> we were like just kids it's for your own safety yeah. that's so wild yeah it's crazy God and my mom damn. was a little crazy wow what a female comedian's mom was crazy that's <laughs> unheard of I feel like it would be more concerning if there was a female comedian 
who was like, oh, my mom's the best. She's great. Yeah, that's true. I'd be like, what's wrong with you, bitch? Get out of here. Yeah, get, get the fuck get out married, of here. get married, you dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Quit doing this to yourself. <laughs> what? You we're, don't need this. We're doing this to survive. Yeah, yeah. I, I have to do this. <laughs> this is how we cope. <laughs> yeah. It blows my mind was your, mo- your mom was crazy. That's oh. something that's like, I'm not even going to pretend I don't know that. Oh, yeah, no. She I don't know like the details, but borderline she's- Borderline personality disorder, okay. alcoholic. She drove us from Mississippi to Alaska after my dad laugh she's she's I'm so her, funny. i love her now because i'm an what adult a, and i can be a distance and hey and you know what you're getting and if you can go don't expect don't expect not crazy or whatever you just go mm-hmm. cool i hope you're well yeah like setting it. expectations with people that you know that they're gonna meet that takes yeah. so much work i've done so much work yeah mm-hmm. I'm, sure. I'm fucking psychotic like the way that people are obsessed with certain things i'm like time to keep working on myself <laughs> that's my hobby i'm such a loser no that's good no, like, time good. to read books about how to get over having a narcissistic mother. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I'll let you borrow my book. <laughs> want to trade books? Yeah. Oh, I have a whole shelf. You want to, I have a library. For have you read It's Not Your Fault, It's Your Mother's? <laughs> oh, that's, that's a, a good, good one. one. <laughs> uh, motherless Daughters. Is yes. The journey from abandonment to healing. That one was for dad. But uh, <laughs> the amount of, it's insane. The amount of, by the way, by the, way the amount of work to just get to well, at least I, and now I know sometimes when I am being triggered. It's like, oh, you don't get uncrazy. You just learn to be like, oh, I'm, I'm having a crazy moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing I can do to stop it, but try to not react insane. Yeah. Like you never, you can't fix trauma. You don't just go like, nothing ever bothers me anymore. You just right. go like, I'm aware of when I'm being bothered now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally. I still get crazy, but now I know, and now I apologize after and I go, oh, I was being crazy. Yeah. And I can <laughs> reel it in a lot sooner. Yeah. Go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, I'm running out. Oh. But then you have the moment of like I used to go days. Oh yeah, hard, dude. I used to I'll go catch hard. it sometimes. She used to be crazy, like like you know. Have you ever seen somebody do like a perfect pass, like in gymnastics across the floor, <laughs> like you would back nail flips, like a triple Simone back flip. She of was crazy, crazy, and look the judges in the eye. Yeah, and they're scared, so they're just like ten. <laughs> that was that just was your band of crazy a few years ago and you've come such a long way. It's Therapy, wild. dude. Therapy's crazy. I know. And then there's moments of like you. I don't know if you have this, but I'll have moments where I catch it real quick before I've, before I've sent a text, before I've done anything. I'm like, oh, okay, wait. But then you're like, but like, they know I'm crazy. I could just do it. It's yeah. Like, I'm crazy. Oh. It's not my fault. You like, get, I know you get tempted by that sometimes by too. What? Where by you go, at, they know I'm crazy. I could just do you, Would you, you like, identify maybe I'll just, with your old maybe crazy I'll just self choose. sometimes? Because in my head I go, they know I'm crazy and they're still trying me. And then I go, the disrespect. And that was like a huge thing the I had a problem with. Is someone just blatantly disrespecting me to my face? And I'm like, oh. Yeah, I mean, you're ballsy. Because in my head, I go, in the old days, I would have just killed you, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) And that's what my instincts want. I would, I would have just killed you. It would have been like like a western, and I would have fucking killed you. Yeah, I know. I would have fed you to my husband, and this tribe would (laughs) have brutally killed you. You would have been burned at the stake. Yeah, (laughs) I would have told someone you were a witch. (laughs) Yeah, and now I'm just like, I wish you well. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I go, I don't, out lunatic. I don't know what happened to you, but you must be hurt too. I'm sorry you're hurting. <laughs> I yeah. hurt and you hurt. <laughs> hey, it's not your fault. <laughs> Just fucking. <laughs> Which is so much more insane to someone who doesn't, like, the, if they're expecting crazy. And you're just like, I wish you well. They're like, oh, that's actually more terrifying. Is she? Is this a sleeper? Like, what's going on? It mm-hmm. is the exact opposite feeling of the reaction or of the feeling of the reaction I had before I did that. Like, when I would go crazy or, like, really go hard on someone, it would feel so good in the moment and then so bad after. Afterwards, yeah. And then now, when I'm calm and I'm like, I apologize and they never got back to me and fucking- You feel shitty for I'm the moment. i inside and then after I go, oh, I kind of did the right thing, but you have to just take that- That, that uncomfortable- mm-hmm. like, yeah, you, I want to say you fuck have to you. literally let your ego go and be like, I'm allowed to, people are allowed to hurt my feelings. They're going to, yeah. and that's fucked up. Yeah. It's just like, that's a part of life and I'm not going, but it, it's so much of it is like, it's so cheesy and woo woo, but I go like, well, I'm not going to give it more energy. They've already upset me. You I'm can't not going to be gonna- scorned every time someone hurts your feelings yeah. or you'd always be scorned. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Life is going to be so fucking hard for you. If everything upsets you to like 
That was a big 10. learning lesson for me because oh, I yeah. was always because I'm like a little bit like psychotic and I get do have nice narcissistic <laughs> no. traits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'd be like, scorned me. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> me. You am. Yes. I'd be like, how dare you go yeah. against me? I'm so cool. The yeah. audacity. I'm smarter than you. <laughs> and you <laughs> tricked me. I will end this now. <laughs> I will ruin you. Yeah. 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 And it's, then it's hard. It is. But like, I, I think the more work you do too, the, the amount of things I've realized that if I were, I would, I don't think I would ever look back on every single moment that I've felt scorned or hurt. Like so many people really aren't trying to be pieces of shit. They just have we their just own talked about yeah, that too. We did. Yeah. But you're just like, Oh, you're not even, you don't even know that that was a cunty thing. It was to a do. different yeah, perspective. Very often. Or going like they're reacting from a place of fear that has nothing to do with you. So they're getting reactive and you're like, they oh. thought you were being mean to them. So they were being mean oh. back and you thought that was the first sign of being mean. Sometimes a person yeah. just kind of stupid and doesn't realize that they're hurting your or feelings. Or how they're coming across. And, yeah, exactly. And if it's ever a female <laughs> comedian at this point, I go like, oh, this is about your mom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 I've done that. Yes. One thing I'll never do is I'll never, um, when people are like this, this girl's a bitch in comedy. I never believe it until I meet her. No. I, Cause there's been so many times where people have been like, she's kind of a bitch and I meet the person I'm like, so and nice. I'm like, I won't even name it. Cause I don't want people to know that this, you know, they're like, she's a bitch, but I'm like, this person is the coolest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, like, she's so cool and funny. Like, like, what did you do? I'm like, what'd she do? Not fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> right. She's such a bitch. Uh, <laughs> did she tell you you were a gross pig? <laughs> uh, oh, the I am so sick of men being like, well, oh, fuck her. Cause it's like a woman's not interested. You're like, all right, what are you? You're 45. Go to bed. I love when you turn a guy down and then he's meaner to you. Yeah. And you're like, oh, now I'll fuck you. Now that you've called me a fat pig cunt face. <laughs> That's what I needed. I just needed to get it out of you. Yeah. I never wanted to fuck you. You literally asked me to fuck you. You asked me to you fuck said, you. Well, you, you were fuck dying me. to fuck me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to fuck you anyway. You texted you me my PP yearns for you. <laughs> my PP yearns for you. With a picture of it with googly eyes and a smiley face. Well, how do you say no to that? <laughs> I mean, that's just fun. Oh, I lost a Google eye inside of me oh god <laughs> the guy, you gotta marry the guy who loses a googly eye inside of that's you. that's your husband that's the one <laughs> it fucking better be imagine that guy cheating on you he's gonna die <laughs> there's yeah. a fucking art and craft store living in my pussy because of you i will michael's kill you. glitter yeah i come glitter because just of glitter you. bombs <laughs> just squirting glitter glue everywhere <laughs> oh man oh god what a what a life honestly yeah it's crazy this is a crazy life. We could have all just been wives and mothers. We really, mm -hmm. like, when I think of, I mean, I, I wouldn't trade this for anything. No. We couldn't also at this point. Yeah. But There's like, still time for both of you if that's what you want. You guys are <laughs> We're so talking very like the old lady from the Titanic. We could have been mothers and wives. <laughs> you guys could pretty much you, still, there's a whole future, you can, right? I still believe men can dump their cum in us and we can give birth. I believe I that. I believe in the both of you. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I could have had a nine to five and then like married a man and, and a nine settled. To five? Well, for a little while until the, I married. And the then man I'm, part's nice. The nine to five part is bullshit. I think I think the staying at home sounds nice. Yeah, being a housewife, stay at house home. mom. During the lockdown, oh, were you happy? Baking, for the dude, for I, the was, I didn't know I could. It's like you. I, wait, I'm saying this. I for the entire thing was locked down with a a uh, now ex boyfriend who was a chubby person who he learned to cook. So okay. let me not. But I'm like. I did have the thought of, boy, if I didn't have dreams, I could like crush it being domestic. Yes. As I continued to be like, oh, sweeping. <laughs> Taking away from my writing. I don't know if it takes no, much I wasn't. I was like, I had a boyfriend. I was sweeping. I was like, I'm up for you too. I was like in. Yeah, no, I got really, I was like, I never knew that organizing was so soothing because I've just been living in a dumpster heap of my journals everywhere. <laughs> also, if you think you're good at baking, bitch, you just got a boyfriend with money or you got your rent paid for. If you have time to learn how to bake, you just got too much time on your it's hands. It's a science. Um, you're independently wealthy or supported <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Science. Exactly. People have cancer and you're like, to get the perfect croissant? <laughs> this smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com. The official getting high sponsor of the Gas Digital Network. First of all, you have to have a trust fund. <laughs> You're going to want a trust fund and some uh, French pastry uh, flour. Uh, and a husband who uh, is never around. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. It's that I just. 
Yeah, during lockdown, I went hard. You baked? You made a pumpkin I baked, bread? I'm, I baked. I was doing pottery, painting, archery, redecorating. How'd you do buy pottery? Where'd you I find I should have redecorated. I was spiraling. <laughs> I kept trying to get other jobs. I was like, I've made an error. I'm going to go back to college. I got certified in cognitive behavioral <laughs> no. therapy. And then I tried to become a park ranger. I was out of my mind. <laughs> I was like, I guess I'll just go to Utah for a few months and watch people park their boats. You have park ranger face. I don't know. Why. <laughs> people have said that for a long time. I wasn't going to be a park ranger. Good park ranger. Let me tell you, I applied <laughs> and got offered the job, and they were very upset when, at that exact moment, I, I was touring, came back, and I was like, I'm so sorry. And they were like, Damn. I did that with a boyfriend. <laughs> I was like, we should get married. And he was like, cool. And then they were like, comedy's back. And I was like, I'm going to do. A set in the window at the store for three months. Oh, the fucking Amsterdam hooker window. Of like, please, somebody out there laugh at me. The saddest thing on earth. They put you in a fish tank. Dude, they put us inside in the crowd outside. Mm -hmm. And we were in a window and it had like red lighting. Fucking <laughs> desperate fucks. We're like, we were like, Venmo up. Please give me attention. It was so bad. It was so dark. I didn't know how to do stand up the first few months. When I came back, I was like, what? is this no i was just screaming <laughs> on stage and being like well, how was how are you doing lockdown was wild i did a bunch of acid during lockdown that was so my whole fun. lockdown that was a good move i just chilled i did acid see what i mean it was it's great not, being a stay-at-home <laughs> really wife nice. is the best yeah that's what you would do wives get to do acid yes. <laughs> they get to do whatever they want they're home mm -hmm. Yeah. The, all they, okay, listen. They uh, use their allowance that their uh, slightly abusive husband gives them <laughs> for chore supplies and acid. And the abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he hits me, but he I can afford my acid. Yeah. So I don't really notice. <laughs> yeah. Sounds great. They wake <sighs> up in the morning. They make a little breakfast. They have a, a, a morning routine. They have a morning routine. You ever try to start one of those? We're like, I'm going to start doing the fucking <laughs> rolling my face. My 30 minute. I don't fucking have time for that. Then I'm just, or whatever. Yeah, or just, yeah. I don't even know what to say. The fuck rock on your face. Yeah. Like, is this helping? I'm my bleeding. Cheekbone? Yeah. It might be. And then I'm just, yeah. fuck it. Now I'm just putting coconut oil on my face and like, all right, let's get out there, girls. I'm too shiny for them to see the wrinkles. It's I just, the, the routine. routine. Sometimes I, there's, there's times where I wake up. You know when you, okay, I think it is like She's our, our hormone cycles. So there's times when I wake up and I'm like, I'm going to do like, a lemon water and just, just, I love you. You're going to be successful. Yeah, yeah, you talk to and the you water. drink it. You, you talk to the water before the, you drink you it. You put it Smart. on a frequency. The every morning's where you hold the cup with the two hands. You're like, <laughs> oh, I I'm love it. I'm finally living my best life. Two-hand cup morning Co is fucking in mornings. Uh, you're just listening to some Abraham Hicks yeah. nonsense where it's <laughs> some old woman being like, and we're all one and you got a channel. Like, we are all one. Oh, a good <laughs> self-help podcast with coffee. Mm -hmm. and you're like, this is who I am You have a robe and you're proud that you have one robe you're yeah. like i have a robe sister you don't know me i have nine robes and i'm proud of every robe <laughs> you do have a lot of i'm robes. a robe kid that's robe incredible kid. put me in a robe and I'll, i feel i just feel like a robe alone makes you feel like you're taking care of yourself that's yeah. what it is all you need is the robe really to yeah, forget the fucking face thing forget everything else i guess that's what my problem is when i have mornings like that they'll like bleed into the afternoon and then all of a sudden i'm like I haven't done anything. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, I'm a fool. Why would I think I could just journal and go for a walk? I'm not a fucking housewife. I have bills to pay. And then I'm just like frantically sending emails like, please book me for the love of God. Like, I missed the window. They're never going to read this. And then I don't do any self-care for six more months and then I do it again. you're like, why would I self-care? Yeah. There's things. Yo, man, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Whenever I work out, I'm like, I've spent my whole day doing this. I forgot about an audition. I have a yes. spot at the store. The amount of auditions I've missed. Uh, <laughs> we're no, because it's like, it's not just working out. Now I have to shower. Working out, yeah, the, the process of working out is very long. Even if you have a quick workout, the whole process is going to be at least an hour and a half. And it's that's a arduous. short workout. Yeah, and that's if you look like shit afterwards and you're okay with it. Yeah. yeah. You're like, I'm throwing my hair up. I mean, this is like, I've been working out and I've just been progressively more disgusting. And I'm like, no, the greasy hair is kind of a look, right? <laughs> it's back in this season. Yeah, it's yeah. like, ooh, heroin cheek. Who is I she? I do jujitsu. I have to shower before and after my workout. Really? Right. Yeah. That makes 
makes sense. Oh, because you have to roll around with people. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's fucking. Yeah, you think everyone's showering before? No, I no. absolutely it's like the, not. It's like public. I pools. know who does though now. Because you can smell them. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't want to spar with you. Yeah. I don't know. They'll what the look words at are. me and I'll look like I didn't even see them looking me dead in the eye. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I guess there's no one here today. So <laughs> back to the showers <laughs> and break. Yeah, fuck. I don't. How is that jujitsu? Do you love it's it? It's so fun. Yeah, it's so fun. I'm yeah, I'm too really afraid. Me I also too. have rheumatoid arthritis, and I'm afraid that if I accidentally fuck something up, I'd be permanently damaged. So Does I'm, it? Is it like working out worse for it? It's some days I'll get inflamed, but it's also important for me to work out to build muscle around my joints. So I'm just now afraid of like it's the it's the control thing of it. if I'm doing the workout, I think I I can prevent myself from injuring myself. Whereas if I'm rolling around with someone else, I'm like one false move. And then I'm just like, yeah, no, I just, my arm's stuck like this now. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, I think it's unique. It's sort of diverse. Yeah. You're the arm girl like that. That's I'm going to go to flappers and audition for America's Got Talent. <laughs> you hold the mic in that hand. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. It looks like a Britney Spears headset at that point. <laughs> oh, baby, baby. <laughs> As my neck just crunches even further down. Uh, oh, man. But it looks so, it's, it's stuff like that seems like it's such a, a release of energy. When did you find out you had rheumatory rheumatoid arthritis rheumatoid yeah i know it's such Does an everyone it's say an that old wrong person all the time rheumatoid arthritis because it sounds like such an old person disease like when rheumatoid i was 27 arthritis. it sounds like the richest rheumatoid. old person to ever exist My and rheumatoid. here comes rheumatoid arthritis <laughs> she's just covered in jewels <laughs> bum, 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 bum. i was 27 but they but by the time i got diagnosed and by the way mine is like very slow progressing so like that's good because there's no cure and it's degenerative and it just gets worse and worse. But mine's luckily been very slow to develop. But I had probably had it for years before that. I was just walking around being Is like- Is your tattoo you talking to your arthritis? Yeah, slow down. <laughs> it is. Thank you. It's, it's for when I'm just going, hello. Uh, it's so dumb. It's my microphone hand. And the, the note I could not stop getting was slow you down. talk too fast. And I tattooed it after I- um, I started writing it on my hand after I- shit at the biggest show I'd ever done in my whole life. Mm. It was a thousand seat theater in Switzerland and fucking I was bombing so hard. I heard someone in the back of the theater clear their throat. I swear to God. (gasps) But then, and there was a bunch of different comedians from all over the world Uh and like other people crushed and it was all English speaking. And I had that mortifying moment of, I don't know if you've ever been out after you've done a show that you didn't do well on and someone who did well is next to you and someone comes up and they're like, so good. But, and then they see you. Yeah. But I will say it was like the most helpful insult I've ever received is this woman turned to me, some Swiss woman. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you're very funny. Your accent is so thick, which I didn't even know I had a funny. And you speak so fast. I don't think anyone understood anything you were saying. That's a great note. But I was like, oh, mm-hmm. thank God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If like, you hadn't come here, yeah. I would have drowned myself <laughs> in Loch Lemont tonight. <laughs> I was like, oh, and, and then so I did. I like learned to slow down and, and whatever, but boy, is that fucking hard. But yeah, no, it's, it's on my, I'm crunching up. But when I was at the doctor and I, I, I was finally bringing up, I went to a doctor for something else. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, by the way, I like kind of have this like joint pain. And they were asking me about it. It's just like, like all, every joint in your body? Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, and I, well, it started with awful, wrists and dude. elbows at that point, but it like slowly goes into uh. Like every year or year and a half, I have a new thing that cracks. Now, every morning I'll do this. And this fucking whole thing is... We're, you're talking to two crack girls yeah. right here. We Pop love city crackers. crackers. Yeah. We crack. As a cracker. <laughs> uh, fellow crackers. Yeah, don't do jujitsu because I feel like that's happening to me in jujitsu. Yeah. Every year of jujitsu, I have a new crack. So I'm like, you can't double I don't on need the cracks. To, yeah, no. I don't need to crack up. No, no there is too much th- crack. There is such thing. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ask my dad. Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. But I really was like, I don't know. I don't know if it's more pain than anyone else my age. And I, I was like 26 or 27. And the doctor's like, How people your to- age aren't in pain. Yeah. How, where did we get to the theater from? I, oh, I you brought up this. Yeah, oh, we were talking. Sorry. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I roasted in yeah. the middle. And of I you refused you, to accept it, and I tried to make it sincere. <laughs> it was. It was I refused to be hurt. It was a great story. No, that That's is a, a great, great story. story. And it's like very, and it was great to know that it was like n- not your jokes. It was literally yeah. that they could not understand you. Because I've seen comedians. Sometimes I'll see a comic and you can't give a comic that's been doing something for a while like notes. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you just got to let them do their thing or figure it and out. But I've seen things where I'm like, 
I know why that joke doesn't hit. And I can, you know? I, if you just do it a little bit, like I know what you're trying to do. And if you just did this, it would hit. It would, you would get the effect that you're going for. The only for. person I'm comfortable with is Sarah. I'll tell her, I'm like, take that word out and try that. And yeah. then she'll do it. And sometimes it'll work. Sometimes it doesn't. But I'm like, there's so many times where I'm like, oh, I want to say it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's so much like switching what you're saying can make a difference. Or yeah, subtracting mm-hmm. a word, adding a word can make it so much better. And it fucking, ugh. But that was probably the only case of an audience member. Come, I want everyone listening to know. Don't go. Don't up come and up to tell, us and tell us. No, <laughs> that is a very, very rare case. One time I, had a, I bombed at the Soho House in New York, and I had a girl Oof. come up to me afterwards. And the Soho House was just fucking rich children. Yeah, and she comes up to me and she's like, "Can I give you a little no?" And I went, "No, you can't." Good. <laughs> First of all, like I, if I like I cringe at my peers and my friends who I know are funny being like, "Hey, I have a tat." Like. A tag, I'll be like, okay. But if, but if they were like a note, I'd be like, oh God. We don't want it from some drunk fucking cunt Mm-mm. who was probably Who's reclining never had in the back in of the room. Oh, yeah. I almost wish I could have known what her note was going to be. I didn't even, I, I, I was like, you need to stop talking to me right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Do not even look and me in the eye. And she was like, wow, you're rude. And I was like, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, That's true. Right? But I was like, ugh, don't do it. No. But it is like advice or that's fucking. Well, it's always going to be from somebody who's never been on stage in their lives of course so, who thinks yeah. that they could get up there and crash mm-hmm. and they never will and they're like i get it it's that fucking also trying to date guys who don't do comedy and they're trying to like get you, you ever get that where they're trying to talk comedy and you're like don't okay you can like it and you can be like funny but i don't need you to go i once was dating a guy who i don't even know what i said but it was funny mm-hmm. and he laughed and then he's like you know why that's funny and i was no. like no yeah, I yeah, said it. I certainly do. <laughs> I'm a professional comedian. I do know why and it's I funny. And I said it. And do you know why I'm never going to see your dick again? <laughs> <laughs> did he think you said it by accident and it that's ended really up funny? It no, I, I, yes, I think so. This guy also, like, it, that's 100% what it was. that shocked that girls are funny. Yeah, or smart. <laughs> he was, like, blown away. He's just like, I just never, every woman I've ever talked <laughs> with, you understand like, the genius you? of what you just said, right? Like, like, <laughs> you know, just accidentally so you? dumb and being like, oh, whoops, it was hilarious. Most women are fake dumb to get you to buy them things. Yeah. You're the dummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know like, she might you. touch my penis. Yeah. I should get her a new car. <laughs> yeah. And she it's might. Like, yeah. So buy the car for her. No. <laughs> Buy her, buy her the car. Mm-hmm. Buy her the purse. Buy In her conclusion, the conclusion. Get her the car. Get her the purse. Get the girl what she needs. Get her the ring, baby. Get Put her a ring on it. Ring, honey. Yeah, I think. Are you winking a... at the camera because your boyfriend's our producer? <laughs> Get her the ring. <laughs> I know which one. Ask me. <laughs> he knows it's which one. It's on a private Pinterest board. <laughs> I will share it with you. <laughs> the whole wedding's planned out. Okay. Secretly <laughs> hire a photographer who's secret. You could just go over all that stuff, by the <laughs> way. You <laughs> should make a phone call. Yeah, yeah. I okay. have a spreadsheet okay. and a PowerPoint available. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I-, I hope you get that ring. Thank um, you. you deserve it. You deserve the ring. Thank if you. If anyone deserves it, it's you. Thank you, Kimberly. She's the sweetest. Girl. Kimberly Bimberly, oh I appreciate you. <laughs> Kimberly Bimberly. <laughs> uh, fuck. Godspeed. <laughs> well, uh, Jessica, Michelle, thank you for coming on to our podcast. Thanks for having me. It Did was you have so fun? fun. I had so much fun. You guys are the best. I thank fucking you. love this. This yeah. was great. This um, was great. Where can people find you? Um, you can follow me everywhere on the internet at JMS Comedy, and you can check out my podcast, Slobs. Hell yeah. Um, Alex? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at I am Alex Scar, and check out uh, gasdigitalnetwork.com where you could use promo code TOPICS, T-O-P-I-X. You get a seven-day free trial with access to every episode of every show on demand, bonus content, live chats, and more. And you guys can follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon, on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash queenkong1. And check out my other podcast, This Bitch with Sarah Weinshank, anywhere you find podcasts. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.